Several people have been asking me for the dimensions of the fire. So I've just made this video with this purpose in mind. Everything comes apart quite easily. I, I made this um, deliberately so the glass just slides out. It makes it very convenient for cleaning the fire. You just lift the glass out and you can sweep out all the ashes. The barrel itself is held in place or sealed in place, I should say, by one inch fiberglass rope. Seems to work very well, makes it very easy. Take the barrel off. The barrel itself has been cut down considerably, as you can see. Um, it's got a whole complete bottom section, so basically it's two thirds size. But um, it seems to offer enough heat. If it was a full size barrel, it would produce a lot more radiant heat. Um, but then it would be quite high for cooking purposes. Now, I really think this metal grid is an important aspect of the vortex stove or probably maybe for any J-tube design. It just basically stops the wood falling into the burn tunnel. So here are the dimensions for anyone who's interested. The firebox is 22 inches deep or 555 millimeters. The actual firebox here, we've got six and a half inches, which is 165 millimeters. In this direction, we've got six and a half inches which is 165 millimetres. The depth of the firebox is 11 and a half inches or 280 millimetres. The system is six inch size, so the round exit hole is 150 millimetres and the depth in here, we've got a total of seven inches to the top of the vermiculite. The air supply that runs underneath um, the firebox is one inch exit and the dimensions of the slot that run underneath here are is um, two and three quarter inches which is about 68 millimeter and it's um, 18 millimeter or three quarters an inch deep. This air we've got a slot in here which is three quarters of an inch or 18 millimeters and in the bottom We've got seven mil holes, and there are uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight seven millimeter holes that feed the air through there. Hopefully, that will give you most of the dimensions. We've got the riser. We can have a look at the riser. Now, this riser, from there to the top, we've got six hundred millimeter. So, if we put this in place, like so. So the depth from the bottom of the firebox to the top of the riser is approximately 31 inches or about 790 millimetre. So it's quite a short riser, but it seems to work okay. Incidentally, I've got this riser, it's been lined with ceramic fibre, it's been going for years. It's got quite a tough, resilient finish on it. I covered it in water glass. Um, I don't see there's particularly much danger of the fibres coming off because it is quite thick. But nevertheless, this, you know, it's not something one would really want to recommend to other people because it has got a danger factor coming from the ceramic fibre. But I'm happy, I'm happy to use it. So here we are looking in the actual vortex chamber and these measurements are slightly different. It's exactly six inch, it's a six inch system and we've got exactly six inches from there to there. This a little piece of vehicle I made out here. It's not brilliant. I mean, it does, it does, it will, and it seems to be lasting very well. It doesn't seem to be any real deterioration in any of the box. I mean, there may be a little bit of hairline crazing down there, but it's all very structurally sound so far. Anyhow, basically, we've got three inches. So we've got 50% has been cut off to allow the vortex to form. I have tried a couple of sizes. I started off with 10%. 
then I went to 25% and now it's on 50%. Um, whether or not it'd work any better with 60%, I haven't tried those things yet, so I don't really know. But it seems to be operating fairly well with this. Here, this is from the top of the riser to the underneath of the hot plate. We've actually got three and a half inches, which is, I think about um, 90 millimetres. Yeah, roughly 90 millimetres to the underside. I've also included, as you can see, I've got the six inch pipe that runs all the way through the barrel. And um, this has proved to be extremely useful. It's really good for cooking things like, um, I mean, garlic bread is just fantastic, but I do jacket potatoes and virtually anything you can fit in. It's like a mini. So with the hot plate in place, um, the hot plate is eight millimeter mild steel, but because it's got a hole in it, this is one thing that seems to work, is it, is, it works so well because the whole top becomes concave. Rather than it actually warping, it actually, the whole thing becomes concave, which makes it great because it means it doesn't break the seal on top and um, so you don't get any smoke coming out, but it also makes it great for cooking because anything you cook, all the juices will inevitably slide down towards that way. So here you can see I've got this grid in place. I mean, be fair, they don't actually last that long. I don't know how long. I mean, you can see it's starting to deteriorate. But I'm sort of saying, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 hours of burning. But the fact is to buy that galvanized um, square inch, one inch square, it's so cheap anyhow. I mean, I bought a whole sheet just for very cheap and it lasts me for years and years. So I don't consider it. I mean, it is a something that deteriorates and will have to be replaced, but it's not a major expense. But from my point of view, I think it's a very important asset. It stops the wood. It means you can lean the wood against it and it stops the wood falling into the fire tunnel, which I, I think is a very important factor. Now, when I was giving out the measurements before, we know it's a six inch system, but and the firebox was actually six and a half inch. Now, there is actually a reason for that. It's because for the metal grid to hold in place and stop it falling through, we've actually got, right, if I can hold the camera, we've got about a quarter inch um, bearing for the metal to bear on each side. So it sort of acts like a door frame and stops it falling in. So that's the reason why the firebox is slightly larger than the system size.